You've heard the stories of the town in Alaska where every single person lives in one building. Chances are you might have even seen it all over social media. But what you might not know are all the incredible hidden gems in this town of just about 300 people. And in our opinion, it truly is one of the best places to slow down, beat the crowds, and just enjoy Alaska. For the next 48 hours, we're showing you the best of the best of this small town. From waterfalls and glaciers to the best seafood chowder and fudge, we'll be showing you the absolute best way to spend 48 hours in Whittier. So before you actually start exploring Whittier, you have to make it through the iconic railroad tunnel. Because it's a one-way tunnel and it's shared with the actual train system here in Alaska, chances are, unless you time it exactly, you'll probably have to wait, which is exactly what all of these people are doing. I'll link the train schedule below, so hopefully you don't have to wait too long. And since this tunnel isn't exactly a hidden gem, we're gonna move on. I think it's like five miles long. Two, mi two and a half miles, I think it is. Once you make it through the tunnel, you'll notice there's two buildings here in Whittier that kind of stick out from the surrounding landscape. The first one is the Begich Towers. This is the building that you see all over social media, and it's made famous because this is the one building that everyone in this town lives in. The second is the Buckner Building, which simply put is a lot more eerie than the other one. This was actually built for military housing all the way back in the Cold War. And this now abandoned building is said to be a bit haunted. We're about to spend the night in one of the most haunted places in all of Alaska. I'm Frank Daz. Oh, what was that? So I have to be honest with you guys, I made a little bit of a mistake while planning our trip to Whittier. What I really didn't take into account was that it is peak tourist season. And unfortunately, a lot of the tours are booked out way more in advance than just one day. Luckily, we were able to book a really special one for tomorrow. So we'll show you more of that later, but we're pretty excited. But first, we had to make a stop to get some of the state's best chowder here at Varley Swiftwater Seafood Cafe. Deborah always has to feed me before she takes me on an adventure or else I get pretty hangry. This is the perfect way to warm up, even though it's actually a really beautiful day today, and fuel up before heading out on our next adventure. Mm. Does you remember? And their chowder is just honestly the best. Plus, they have an amazing view overlooking the harbor, which conveniently has an entire cruise ship in today. Our next stop is a waterfall that is actually our favorite waterfall in the entire area. And it's a waterfall that actually doesn't even have a name. So if you want to get here, you'll have to pull over by the second Salmon Run sign and then follow this dirt path to the waterfall. Typically, there's no one here, which is another reason why it's one of our favorites. But with the cruise ship in today, we'll see if that's the case or not. I think they must have a lot of rain for you. Fresh dun, 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 dun. Looking good. That's a new style. Looking good. Lucky for us, even with the cruise ship in today, there's no one else here. And with the incredible view of the waterfall, this easily takes one of our most favorite spots in all of Whittier. All right, off to the next hike. Right down the road from that last waterfall is Emerald Cove Trail. I also forgot to mention that anytime you go hiking out in Alaska, we highly recommend carrying at least one can of bear spray for your group. It's really just good sense, especially during berry season. And if you're visiting, we have an entire list of places that rents out bear spray. How's it going? It's going all right. How are you doing? Pretty good. That leads to Emerald Cove, right? Yeah. All right, perfect. It's super muddy. Yeah? Yeah. Worse than this? Worse Considerably. Than... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Catch any fish out there? I do not. No? <laughs> Is it well, worth it? Is it cool? Yeah. All right, we really wanted to surprise you guys with another stop at a pretty epic hike, so we made our way to Horsetail Falls. But just like Emerald Cove Trail, we really didn't know how long it was or the elevation or really what the views would be at the end. Apparently, 
The end means the waterfall is still kind of far away. And even so, the views are still truly incredible. The hike was a lot better. It was mostly gravel and wood planks. So definitely recommend that over Emerald Cove Trail. Now to make our way back down. We just found the coolest slug ever. Highlight of the whole hike was this slug. Bye slug. All right, we got our pizza after our well-deserved long hike. That well-deserved pizza. Someone just did a cannonball over there. I saw a giant splash. Oh, I see him swimming. <laughs> oh my. I was like, what is the, behind Deborah's head? The best pizza in Whittier. Oh, it looks good. I think this one's yours, barbecue chicken. Yum. Good flatbed. Go get a $15 flatbed. Yeah, <laughs> that's really good flatbread. And after stopping at Lu Young Park for some fishing, I'm gonna try to catch one pink salmon. A spot that was equally as full of mosquitoes as it was fish. Nice, it's cute. We eventually made our way to the most beautiful free campsite in Whittier. This is our home for the night. Now I haven't mentioned it yet, but there's actually three different places you can stay in Whittier, but one of them's under construction and this one is completely free. Plus the views are absolutely incredible. Tomorrow we have quite the full day adventure planned. So here's to a good night's sleep. Good night. We are up bright and early because we have a super exciting adventure today, like I mentioned last night. We're gonna go grab some coffee at another cafe down in Whittier. Cheers. Mm. And then we're gonna show you guys the absolute best of Prince William Sound. We've actually tried cruising Prince William Sound before. It didn't go so well. So we are supposed to take the ferry over to um, Valdez. Unfortunately, they told us that the ramp is broken. And we're actually super excited to be trying it with Lazy Otters because they have small boats. So instead of sharing the experience with hundreds of people, you only have like about a dozen. Just Thanks. step on the flag as you come up on either side. Um, it's some, uh, the name of the boat is High Velocity. That'll be your home for the next eight hours. We have some coffee and hot water, so please help yourself to warm drinks throughout the day. This is where Whittier is, Passage Canal. So we're gonna be coming out of here, um, kind of past Decision Point and Pigot Point, and then entering through Port Wells and crossing Port Wells over to Esther Island. Now in Esther Island, there's a salmon hatchery in this little bay right there. So we're about halfway through our tour right now, and honestly, I don't even know where to begin. We have seen puffins the closest we've ever seen them. We've seen multiple black bears just walking along shore, which we have never seen a bear from a boat cruise before. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. And we've seen an entire colony of sea lions. Needless to say, it has been absolutely incredible and we're only halfway done. We've made a quick stop for lunch, which is conveniently included in the tour. And I honestly don't know how the second half of the day is gonna get any better. Also, side note, I thought it would be a good idea to mention that Lazy Otter Charters is owned by Kelly and Mike. Kelly is the one who actually walked us to the boat this morning, and Mike is actually one of the captains of the other boat. If you go check it out on their website, they have a little about me section and it has the cutest photo of them both. Plus, they've been doing this since 1994, AKA an entire year before I was born. Only 
accessible by boat. So you um... Our next stop of the day is the glaciers. This is Cascade, Barry, and Cox Glacier, I believe, and they are absolutely incredible. The blue is really coming out today with the mist and the rain, and it's just stunning. Hands down one of the most peaceful places I've ever been. However, we have one more glacier stop, and on the way over here, we saw what might have been my favorite experience today, the otters. So clearly that is the best way to experience Prince William Sound. If you're looking for an incredible boat ride during your time here in Whittier, I highly recommend Lazy Otter Charters. Plus, if you stop at their cafe afterwards, you can actually purchase that salmon spread that we had on the boat, which was really good. Now, before we head off to our very last stop here in Whittier, I wanted to at least mention a few of the other things you can do while you're here in town. One is the museum. Then, of course, you have the option to extend your exploring here in Alaska. You could head out on the Alaska Railroad, or you could head out on the Alaska Marine Highway, which Tyler and I actually tried once. If you're really up for it, you could even head out on a cruise, which, fun fact, there's actually been two cruise ships here in the two days that we've been here. Of course, we couldn't call it a complete stop to Whittier unless we stopped right here at Sound Ideas for some fudge. My personal favorite flavor is their tunnel special, and it's the perfect cherry on top of an already incredible past 48 hours. We could use the rest of our 48 hours here to spend another night camping, or we could drive the one hour back to Anchorage and sleep in our own beds. And as much as we loved waking up to the views of Prince William Sound this morning, our own bed sounds pretty comfy right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my gosh. Tyler, there's fish in there. I know. I don't have my fishing pole. So I had that. Oh, oh. <laughs>